and today I am going to be doing another video. No, it's not the second part of the French toast video, but today we are making a chef's um, salad. Now, I love Nigella. She is like everything to me. I even have her book. I'm actually going to tag her, but this is what the book looks like. She is like my idol. I literally, I love her so much. She is like everything to me, and that's how I really like to cook. Now she was, she's my inspiration. So I'm quickly gonna go display my book right over here, and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you'll need is a washed um, iceberg lettuce. You won't need a full one, but I got a full one from the store, so I got a full one. Um, and you're going to use a knife. By the way, kids, do not handle sharp knives. You must ask for a parental supervision. I have had experience with this, and I know how to chop these things, and I really don't want you to get hurt. So, just get a parent to do that. I just peeled this, some, this one, but you're going to need this, so I'm actually going to move this out of the way. Okay, so... I'm quickly ripping this so you can see that it's like a full lettuce and I'm just going to break it up like this a little bit and you're just going to quickly chop this up very finely and this is obviously my dinner so <laughs> please don't judge me this is my dinner, so, yeah. And you're just going to get a few more pieces of lettuce and chop those up. Okay. So I'll be back once I've chopped everything. Okay, so I have finished chopping all of my lettuce. Just bear in mind this must be washed because obviously this is fresh and it can have very bad germs on it and obviously I don't want you to get sick, so... Okay, so I've got my pieces of lettuce and I'm just going to go get a bowl. I will be back in a sec. Okay, so I put all my lettuce in a bowl and now I'm just going to go get my tomatoes. Okay, so these are fresh tomatoes. They literally just come from the store. I'm quickly going to open this. As I said before, do not handle sharp knives. It, trust me, it hurts when you get cut. Um, I've had experience. Um, yeah. So then you're just going to cut this up very finely. Obviously you don't have to cut it up finely. If you like having your tomatoes just sliced in half, then go ahead, do. But I personally don't like the seeds. I just like the outside, which seems like a very weird thing to say because most people like seeds. But I hate the seeds and I will not eat the seeds of a tomato. And I'm just quickly chopping this up. Very finely. As you can see, it is quite fine. I'm just going to go put it in my bowl. <laughs> okay, so I'll be back once I've chopped my tomatoes. Okay, so I've finished chopping the tomatoes. Um, you can't really see them, but here. Um, they've all sunk into the bottom, so that's great. I'm going to just go get my other ingredients and I'll be back soon. Okay, so then you're going to need cucumber. Obviously, this is from uh, the Nigella book. She is, like, so good. But, um, this is from the Nigella book. And I'm just gonna, I'll cut about this much, I don't need a lot. Obviously if you, if you don't like cucumber, 
then you don't actually have to put cucumber in, but I just choose to put cucumber because I want to be healthy. As you can see, I'm slicing them very thin, very fine. So I love cucumber, but I like it chopped. If I have to have cucumber, I like it chopped fine. Like, I don't mind if it's in big chunks, but personally, my best is when you chop it finely. So, I'll be back once I finish chopping it. Okay, so I have chopped up all of my cucumber and I've put it in my bowl. Now, it's avocado. Now, I absolutely love avocado. It's my best. But, um, um... Some of you might not like avocado, which is absolutely fine, but um, um, you can use something else, like a different fruit that you really like, if you really don't like avocado. But personally, I have loved avocado since I was a kid. By the way, don't try this at home. <laughs> Stick to the knife now. Stick to the knife. That was not. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to finely slice it up. And you only need a little bit of avocado, you don't need all of it. I'll be back once I've finished. Okay, so I've added the avocado, and then what you'll need is um, chicken, but my chicken is in the oven. Obviously, you can choose to use ham, whatever you want, but I'm using chicken. My chicken's in the oven, so I'm quickly going to check when it's ready. It's going to be ready in 10 minutes, so I'll be back soon. Okay. So the chickens literally just come out the oven. Um, so I'm quickly going to put it in. It doesn't matter how big they are. I'll just give that to the dogs. It doesn't matter how big they are. They are as long as they're just the size of it in two mouths, really. Yes, that's right. I just got chicken in my hair. So now you're just going to mix this up and boom you're done let me just wash my hands because i feel like i'm kind of gross now yeah okay so and the next thing you're gonna do is if you don't like ranch i like it it's not my favorite but i'm gonna put it on anyway uh i i like it but it's like not my best ever but um, why not just put some ranch on because, you know what, it's just going to make it taste better. So I'm just going to, if this comes out, use a little bit of ranch on this one right now. Yeah. Come on. Now that I've got my ranch on there, I'm just going to quickly put that back on. I'm going to get this really annoying sand off. And I'm going to, with a little bit of soy sauce, I've got something completely different. I would like some. I need to, I literally have cut the drawer for this. Balsamic. This is really good on salad. I'm just going to put a little bit on. Not too much and then I'm just going to 
this back in there. So that is what your salad should look like. Now, I'm just going to put everything back up here. And basically just cut this video and we're going to go to the end. Just quick. And I'm going to do the taste test. Okay, now it is time for the taste test. So this is the end result. Oh, whoa. And time for the taste test. I'm going to get a bit of everything in there. Put cucumber, some lettuce, some avocado. Ready? Three, two, one.